I'm in Rome. <sighs> I'm in Italy. I'm, I'm in Rome. Ciao. <laughs> I just got to my Airbnb after the longest flight. I flew by myself because I was meeting my parents in Rome, which both got COVID last minute. So I'm here alone, which is fine. We had a little panic about it, but now I'm like, you know what? I actually love being alone. And like, I literally have a mansion to myself, not a mansion, but like there's literally six beds and it's, it's just me. Like I got here and the hosts were like, is anyone else coming? And I was like, nope, <laughs> just me. I can't believe I'm here right now. Like I can't believe this view. And it's summer. It's like proper summer, like coming from winter. Anyway, let me give you a little tour of the house. So this is the living room, and then we have these big windows, which is so, so nice. Such a beautiful part of Rome. Like, look at this, look at this lamppost. I love it. We have the living room. We have a loft up there. All these beautiful artworks. And then come up here. Look how cute. And then you come outside and there's just this cute little terrace, which is so nice. I feel like I'm in a museum. Like there's so many nice touches. Like you can really tell they wanted to make it special. And I don't know, I'm loving it. Like this artwork on the wall here literally is amazing. Like I literally feel like I'm at a museum. Apart from the drive here, I actually haven't gone exploring yet. So I think I'm gonna go and have a little explore. I really need to get myself a SIM card for the time that I'm in Europe so I can actually like <laughs> talk to people and use Google Maps and stuff while I'm out. I'm actually getting a little bit hungry. So I have my first little Italian snack. Also, I kind of wanted to have a little disclaimer because I know a lot of you guys know that I am vegan. I have been for three years. Last time I was in Europe was in 2019 and I was like very strict vegan at that time. And I came back from Europe with like a lot of health issues because I just would often eat like less healthy options because that's what was vegan, AKA like bread with olive oil. I was like, that's not. That's not a full diet. And I don't know, being in like Italy and I'm gonna go to France as well and everything. And I just, I just wanna be a lot more flexible because I also know how much like culture is in the food. I also feel like when I'm restrictive with my diet, it just creates really bad like eating habits of like maybe then because I'm scared that like I won't find a meal somewhere then I'll overeat when I don't need to. Or like, you know, I don't eat enough because there's nowhere that has vegan food. So. I feel like you guys don't care, but I just wanted to say I'm obviously going to be showing you guys what I'm eating and stuff on this journey and I'm definitely not going to be 100% vegan is what I've decided and I feel like just saying it is going to give me permission to just not feel guilty about it. I'm doing what I feel is right for me and yeah, we'll see. but I actually slept really well considering this is my first day like you'd think I'd be jet lagged but like I went to sleep at like 10 or 10 30 and woke up at like 6 a.m or something so that's not that bad I really hope this continues and I don't actually have to deal with like jet lag like I hope I won't be really tired today but I'm actually kind of hungry so I think I'm gonna get ready and then just go try to find some food so yeah, let's do it.
I just went to this little bakery place near my apartment and I got some focaccia, which looks insane. Look how cute every street is. This is literally, oh my God. I'm dead. So I was chilling at the apartment for a while and just resting, which was really nice, but I started feeling the jet lag kick in either the jet lag or I've just adjusted so well that I was ready for my siesta. <laughs> I think it was a jet lag. Um, but yeah, I've decided in order to keep myself a little bit awake, <laughs> I'm going to get my first gelato or well, I'll get a sorbet hopefully they'll have one I don't know if it's just Italy or Europe in general but people are so flirty here like people actually like look you up and down and like look in your eye and there's like so many opportunities to like have like a romance I haven't found anyone that I would even want to have that with but still like it's so interesting like you see all these things that happen in movies and I'm like no one would ever do that but then you come to Europe and people do. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because I'm like, yeah, alone, girl walking. People just like want to start conversations. Wow. Okay, we got our melon ice cream. Oh my God. today I put on my Instagram asking you guys like the best pasta in Italy and you guys really pulled through with all the recommendations I was overwhelmed I wrote a whole like list but there was one in particular that like heaps of people recommended so I went there and it was amazing you guys would have seen the clips they like have women just like making the pasta whilst you're there which is just I don't know such a beautiful thing to watch another random thing that i was thinking about is just like i love how people just like stand in front of their shops here like especially the men like they just stand in front of their shops like at the doorway like i i don't know i just don't have that in australia but like if they're taking a call or they don't have something to do they're just standing at the doorway just just looking and it's just so funny like you'll just pause them and they're just standing there like and you keep walking and you look back and they're still standing there. I feel like people are able to be so much more relaxed and chill and like they don't feel like they have to go, go, go all the time. Like they can just have a moment looking at their door and just observing. And I think that's beautiful and I've just been really enjoying looking at that because it's just, yeah, not something I ever see back home. <laughs> Tomorrow I actually leave. So today is my last like proper day here. So I'm gonna try to soak it all up. <laughs> Today I leave Rome and go to Sicily. I'm so excited. Yesterday I went and looked at the Trevi Fountain and I'm glad I went because like it was beautiful and like to see all the old like sculptures and stuff is just uh, it's truly breathtaking in real life. Like I had no idea the Trevi Fountain was that big. Like I've seen so many photos of it obviously and it's just like never 
occurred to me how massive it is so yeah it was really cool to see in person but like it was just so touristy there like oh i just i like couldn't stay there for more than like a few minutes like it was just too overwhelming it did just make me so grateful to be staying where i'm staying i'm staying in this like neighborhood or near this neighborhood called trestevere i think that's how you call it i'll put it on the screen but yeah it's just like a very sweet neighborhood and then at night there's like amazing nightlife as well like very much going out lots of amazing restaurants here i'll leave a link to the airbnb i'm staying out as well if you guys want to check it out the hosts are just the sweetest ladies ever i really just i'm so grateful for them they were so kind when i got here definitely a good place for like a group of people or a family <laughs> definitely not a solo traveler place but you know things happen the way they did. I love you guys and I will see you in Sicily.